Hello everyone, it's Friday and welcome back to another Crossing Board video. Yes, it is still Halloween, I am hanging on to it for as long as possible. So after last week I decided I actually quite like the idea of taking everything right back to the beginning, really talking about some of the features in the game that have been there from the start. Maybe we'll make a series of it. Let's make a series of it. So today we're going to be talking about the villagers. Now I know what you're thinking, everyone knows what the villagers are, the villagers have been there from the very start of the game. What is there to know about the villagers? But actually throughout the Animal Crossing series they've served different purposes, had different roles, been able to do different activities. Some of those features are no longer available in New Horizons. So grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, grab anything. And let's talk about the villagers in Animal Crossing. As I'm sure everyone is aware, there are many different personality types your villagers can have, and male and female villagers having four different personality types each. So for the male, you could be cranky, lazy, a jock or smug, and for a female, you could be snooty, normal, peppy or sisterly. However, smug and sisterly villagers haven't actually been in the game from the very beginning, and were introduced in Animal Crossing New Leaf. And the personality types work in the fact that they are the male and female equivalents of each other. So within the personality types, your villagers will also have a hobby that they enjoy doing. For example, on my island I have two normal villagers. Though they're both normal, Sylvana's hobby is nature, and Poppy's hobby is education. So that means that Poppy would be more likely to find reading, or Savannah would be walking around looking at the flowers, watering the flowers, that sort of thing. So in New Horizons, the villagers seem to have a little bit more life and can do activities together and alone. So you probably have seen your islanders singing, exercising, doing yoga, or just running around with a twig in their hand. You also may find that things like barbecues and benches appear in your plaza. I for one had a wonderful squirrel meetup not that long ago, it was. It was everything. Their actions in this game are almost a lot more real. And the AI system, if you can call it an AI system, seems to be a lot more grounded in reality than the previous games, apart from when they sit next to a bench or in front of it instead of sitting on it. However, there are a few features from the previous games that did not make it into New Horizons. One of those features is the tournaments. This could simply be that the tournament system within the game has changed, as in the previous games it was more competitive. You could genuinely lose the tournaments and your villagers could win instead. And of course one of the big features being that they could visit you at home, which I really hope they implement back because I do miss the feature. The villagers in the previous games would also seem to be a lot more involved in themselves. And though this is somewhat of a thing in New Horizons, it's definitely not to the extent it was in Wild World. The villagers would also talk about who is dating who in your town. Of course it was all gossip, but the conversation would be a lot along the lines of oh, Apollo is getting close to this person, or their relationship seems very strange, I wonder what's happened there. Of course previous Animal Crossing games also had different areas, so you had the city in City Folk or Let's Go to the City, and you also had Main Street in New Leaf, so your villagers or past villagers could often be found in that area. Similarly your villagers could also be found in Brewster's Cafe, but we don't need to talk about that. It's strange looking back because there are often things in the previous games that I do think I missed, but if I look objectively, I know there is more in New Horizons. So it could be a thing of nostalgia where people just simply miss the past games and I myself were included in that. So that's a little dig into the villagers. I'm actually really liking doing a bit of a deep dive into the previous things and finding out the history. It really mixes things up. So thank you for watching this week's video, you can find many other videos on our channel, we upload pretty frequently, and I will see you next week.